Hello everyone, this is Captain Smith from CaptainSmithDesign.com and we're going to start building on this bicycle here. Um, we're going to add a character to it. Yeah, take a look at the website, that one. It's got some cool stuff on it, you might find something you like. Okay, so we've already got the bicycle, which we've done in the previous video, and now I'm going to add a character to it. It doesn't matter we've done the, you know, the frame because the, the figure's going to collide with the frame, but that's not a big problem. Okay, so if you think about someone on the bike, we know that the bum goes roughly here. If you're trying really hard, it goes here. Um, and the body goes roughly here. If you think about when you're riding a bike, what do you see when you look down? Do you see the, this bit? Do you see this bit? Do you see the handlebars? You're about here. So I'm going to put the head there. This is also a cartoon, so I, I can be flexible. And so can you, which is a great advantage of cartoons. You can play around with, with the style and the proportions. So this is again, it's a sketch. I'm doing in, the, in a pen, which is a bit unorthodox, but I don't think it's a big problem. You know, people are smart. The viewer is smart. You know, they can see through the crap to what they want to see. Um, so I'm shrinking the head there. I I, I really advise um, this kind of style of drawing. Uh, which is you know loose, energetic, easy going, because you you probably have more fun if you're not putting stress on it, and you also if you look at how quickly I'm drawing, um, you'll probably get a lot more done. Because as I said in the last video, I'm going to up the saddle. I didn't say up the saddle in the last video. I said that in this video, but as I said in the last video. Um, you're probably not going to be drawing for something, you know, in a publication or whatever anytime soon. Or maybe will be, but most of your drawing will just be fun, you know. Some people call it practice. I think practice is a bit of a nasty word. It sounds like you've got a long way to go. But I think the drawing is the fun bit. This is the fun bit now. So it's not really practice. It's not in view of something else. You are doing what you are doing. You're doing what you enjoy. It's drawing. So, yeah, you call it practice, but it is just fun. Okay, I've got, <laughs> I've got to go and do something, so I'll keep this quick. Like, it's my cooking. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, plot in, plot in the, um, the lines where you want things to be. And just be sketchy, be loose. Um, so that leg behind, if you look at a lot of pictures of people drawing, they will probably actually not put in the leg behind. You can just draw a suggestion there. If you can see that, um, I draw the whoosh hair, the old whoosh hair, a uh, little ear, and just a suggestion of hair. You know, hair's quite hard to draw. Usually, people will over egg it and just like draw all the hair and all the little lines. But actually, it's it's easy to suggest it with these sort of these swishes, if that makes sense. Um, okay, I draw him having a kind of pumping out mouth, as if he's trying quite hard. I like drawing big noses. That's kind of something I do quite naturally. If you draw him with, a, with the eyebrows up, it shows that he's trying hard. Then you get the sweat going over the back. Okay, speed this up a little bit. Again, as I said in the last video, use a black pen. This is point, point 0.5, I don't know if you can see that. Point, point 0.5. So yeah, that's what I use for the, the bike here. And this, this line here is actually point 0.2, point 0.3 actually. But you can actually, um, by changing the angle you draw at, you can actually change the um, the thickness of the pen. So it's quite fun experimenting with that. You know, if you draw with an upright pen, you get a thick line. If you draw with it on its side, oh, unlike that actually, but usually like that. If you draw with it on its side, you get a thinner line, more more just a suggestion of a line. Um, yeah, thicken this front leg. If you, as I said, the things that you draw in black or the darker, the you draw something the more it's going to come out at the reader. So that now comes into the foreground, that leg, as will this one. Um, so as I said at the beginning of the video, the viewer is quite intelligent, you know, visually. Um, they won't have a problem in sussing out what's going on in the, in the image, really. Uh, you can draw a little bit of shade on the back leg, maybe. But yeah, even though there's, there's, a, there's a huge black line going between those legs, you can still work out that's a cyclist on a bike. You get the idea. 
And again, as I said, it's for your it's for your own amusement, your fun. So you can just experiment. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're learning. You're 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 gaining ideas and experience. So don't worry too much about things like you know scratchy lines or whatever. Um, I'm I try not to be too literal about what's going on. Um, if that makes any sense, what I mean by that is that. These, this is this is like saying this is a code for I'm sweating and trying hard. This is this is a code for the bike is moving quickly. So I'm not too literal as an as a artist or illustrator. I like to kind of leave it to the viewer to work out what's going on. But I mean, you obviously can do things like this, whoosh lines. So I'd say start from the bike. You can even do it darker and then whoosh. And so let off, press hard and then let off um, as you as you move to the right. With those lines, um, and don't do don't overkill with that like I have. I was just kind of showing you actually. Let's see what happens if I draw it on the bike. Does that work as well? If I start the line on the actual wheel, yeah, it does as well. Yeah. So whatever you add the most detail to, the most black ink, that will come out the most. So if you're putting black ink here and too much on the shadow, um, that will come out, and it might not. It might unbalance the picture in a way you don't like. Um, I'm very happy with that. I think it's a fun picture. Um, yeah, and I think it looks quite, you know, it's interesting, blah, blah, blah. Uh, thanks for watching. I've got a few other videos. I'm going to build on this one. I'm going to draw how to do the landscape for a cyclist. So maybe if you can find that one on the, on the sidebar, that'd be great. Um, if not, there's the website again. Loads of fun stuff on there. You might like some of it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.